Here we go, here we go. It is now day four of the Tour Divide. Day one was exciting and the weather was perfect. Day two, I dragged my bike up Coco Claims, then got rained on coming out of Fernie. On day three, I dragged my bike up the wall, which was much harder than I thought it would be, and then got snowed on quite a bit. And now we're in Eureka, Montana. And hey, if you enjoy my videos, if they bring value to your life, please consider joining my Patreon. You will get early releases with no ads and some other fun stuff that as always, no pressure. The most important thing is that you just watch my videos. All right, here we go. Ow. My eyes aren't used to opening this early. It's 4.30. Ha. Ah. <laughs> you know what this is? This is my luxury item that I brought. It helps roll out my sore muscles. Is it heavy? Not too bad. It's kind of a weird shape, but I think it will help me along the way. Mm -mm. I'm sitting here dancing, eating my food, and also avoiding going outside because it's like 32 degrees. All right, thank you, super awesome cozy cabin. Let's go have an amazing day. Oh, there she is, all ready to go. All right, here we go, my earliest morning yet. It's just after 5 a.m. And ooh, boy, my butt is tender. But it looks beautiful out here. Wow. It might be cold, but it sure is beautiful this time of day. Wow. Let's have a wonderful day. Come on, let's do this. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. Feeling good, feeling good. We're gonna go as far as I can today. Check this out, little trail magic with some water and snacks. Good morning, cows. Good morning. I do not feel energetic right now. And I'm thinking it's just the physical and mental toll of the first few days. You know, the rain and the snow really took it out of me and all the hard charging. And I'm just kind of like, oh God, I have 2,400 more miles of this. How am I ever gonna do this? <laughs> but I'll be fine. I've been here before and other adventures. I know that it will get better, but yeah, right now I'm like, oh, my right knee hurts, my butt hurts, my quads are screaming. <sighs> but that's all part of it, right? <laughs> here we go, here we go. Even though I'm having a slower start today as far as getting warmed up. It doesn't mean my eyes aren't warmed up because what I'm seeing here is so beautiful. I love it. I'm trying to eat this protein bar and it's frozen. Uh, it really is. Colder here, right now, than it ever was in Canada. Woo! Look at that beautiful bike. Look at that beautiful bike. Let's go to New Mexico. All the way to the bottom, Antelope Wells. I've been standing here for the last 10 minutes with my hands in my armpits. They are excruciatingly cold. Oh my God. I have not felt this cold in a long time, at least my hands. Oh, Whew. You know what I see here on this road? 
this road sign, a mirror sticker. Mira! The spirit of Mira was with is with me. Oh, I'm still cold, really cold, but that just brightened my day. And <laughs> these dish gloves are, are doing a little bit better than my other gloves. I love you, John and Mira! Ah, oh, whoo, little things like that. It's kind of silly, but just seeing that sticker warms me up. So thank you, John, for taking the time to put that sticker there. hands are so cold it's to the point where it's just aching oh my god oh yeah. okay i just spent the better part of 20 minutes jumping around warming my hands up putting them all over my body and they're back to life god i forgot what a painful experience it is to go from frozen fingers to thawed fingers i just looked at the weather it says it feels like 35 degrees which i agree with and there's even snowflakes on the horizon. Oh God, I want hot, I want hot. All right, I just hit 50 miles and I finally feel warmed up, warmed up in every way, not just my hands, but my body and my mind. You know, earlier today I was just, in pain. <laughs> my hands hurt so bad and my knee hurt. And when that happens, I start thinking, oh my God, is this the end? Am I gonna be able to make it? Am I even gonna be able to make it to whitefish? Those kind of thoughts creep in from time to time. And then I just have to take a deep breath, get off my bike and just realize, you know what? It's gonna be okay. Just stop and breathe some fresh air and chill out because as long as you're moving forward even if it's slow you're going to get there ryan i'm talking to myself right now <laughs> this is my own pep talk <sighs> yeah i feel better <laughs> and i know that i'm gonna have so many of these roller coaster moments physically and mentally probably almost every day on this journey and that's what it is, it's a journey. Definitely a deep dive. Some sort of a cat there. Nice, wild cat. I am climbing up Red Meadow pass right now and I'll take it because it has warmed me up <laughs> and I was just thinking this is the first day I have not seen any other racers and I'm guessing that's because a lot of people pushed on last night out of Eureka I finished at 4 30 which is pretty darn early I'm guessing most people kept going and then probably some people also stayed in Eureka in the cozy hotels and I'm just kind of out here in no man's land, which is kind of nice. I definitely like the camaraderie. I like talking, sharing stories, but I do love the alone time. That's why I love riding my bike in general and running long distances. Lots of time to think and ponder. And, I don't know, figure out life, <laughs> dream, reminisce, all those good things.
I remember riding by this in 2020 thinking, man, what a beautiful lake. And also, I was tempted to jump in it. It was a much warmer day back then. I started this ride in mid-July. But uh, yeah, how stunning. Whoa, 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 look at that. That's my profile right now. Usually very exciting to go screaming downhill, but all this means is cold. <laughs> Ooh. So I'm coming down this hill really fast and I'm like, oh God, I'm getting cold. And then I see this very bright thing off in the distance and I have a new friend named Barton. How you doing? Good. <laughs> you came up here in the cold to say hi to me? Yes, what I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Very kind of you. And yeah. you're from this area? I'm from, I was born in Whitefish. I live in Kalispell, which is 15 miles south or so. Nice. And uh, I'm 76, just about 77. Uh, so about 100 miles in one day is about all I can handle, and then I got to rest for a month. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so glad you came to hang with me, my man. This is fun. <laughs> Old Barton there put a big smile on my face, and he said he's going to continue going up the road. That definitely warmed my spirits. Whew. Getting closer to whitefish, and you know what that means? Hot food. <laughs> Once again, screaming downhill, and I have a new friend. What's up? Hey, everybody. Uh, this is Gary. I live over in Quorum near Glacier Park. Right on. I to come out and see Ryan and show my support and just uh, ride with him as much as I could. I appreciate you, man. What's your story? What do you do here? Well, uh, I'm a chicken farmer and a software engineer, and uh, I ride a lot. Uh, this isn't really my home course. I'm closer over to the park, uh, but I do come to Whitefish occasionally. There's my man, whoa! Uh -oh. <laughs> no crashies. No crashies, almost ate it. Gary says he knows a great pizza joint and that's where we are headed. Hello, I what is your it. name? My name's Mary. Nice to meet you, Mary. You're Thanks one for of coming my heroes. This. Oh, really? You still look as good as the day you started. <laughs> How do you do it? I don't know, I just, uh, biking makes me feel good. And the weather. And the weather, yeah, yeah. It's I nice sent you a note, I hope the weather gods were kind to you. They were, it was a little sloppy out there. I bet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you're from here? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, thanks and so I much. I follow you and I love you. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I really I appreciate you watching my videos. It means the world to me. We got Mary. We got Mary. Yeah, I love it. Uh, you're giving me an inspiration. <laughs> it's like a bucket list. Well, I to hope do you make at least it, part of it. Do some of it for sure. Yeah. You'll love it. Oh yeah, look at that. We are in heaven. Thank you so much. You got it. I'm so My glad pleasure. you came to meet me. I am so happy I got to see you. <laughs> and just quick question, how many chickens do you have? Currently 27 laying hens, three roosters, and 10 baby chicks. <laughs> awesome, man. Cheers, buddy. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's been great. You're welcome best pizza ever. Look how good that is. Oh my God. Gary, I'm so used to you being here. You can't leave. Oh no. Don't leave me. You can do it. I know you can do it, right? <laughs> Thank you. It's been really fun to spend some time with you and eat pizza with you. And uh, this is a blast. I'm so glad I got a chance to hang out and uh, see you on your ride. I wish you the best. Safe travels, my friend. Thank you, brother. You Have it. a good one. Thank you. See good you luck. down the road. No whammies, baby. Mexico for me. I will. <laughs> oh, what a good guy. That was wonderful. And that pizza was really good too. Whoo! I just zipped in and out of Whitefish. Lickety splickety. And now I'm on my way. I want to go another 40 miles to a town called Ferndale. And that'll put me at 120 for the day. Slowly catching back up to my desired mileage. Ooh, look at that big house. I just found my first rider of the day, my buddy Gabriel from Quebec. Yeah, man. How you do, how's it been so far? Oh, this is one of the, my favorite experience of biking of my entire life, man. Been riding for 25 years, and this is 
like all coming together, all my experience for this. I look over here. Ole, 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 ole. I don't know who put this sign here, but thank you, world. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and here's another sign. Get out there, Team Doozer. I think we might have uh, some fans up here. Oh my God. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Hey! Ryan, stop here! Hello, hello, hello! Ole, 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 ole! Ole! Hi, Ryan. Hi there, how are you? Good! You just made my day! Oh my, we were just watching. Oh no, well, you got the shirt here, look at that! That's so cool! Wonderful. Yeah. What's He's your an name? I'm a fan of yours. You are? Oh, what's Watch your every, name? Every one of your videos. Mark oh, Vance. thank you so Mark much. Patreon, everything oh, else. thank you. From the bottom of my heart, you're so wonderful. And today is his birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. How you doing? Give me a high five. Yeah, happy birthday. Did you put the signs up? Yeah, we did. Oh, you're I'm so... Bella from the Philippines. Oh, really? So great to meet you. This is this makes me so happy. Oh, yeah, tell me a story. So my mom so passed away a couple years ago. <laughs> But before that, her favorite thing in the world was to watch Ryan, oh. and especially when he was with John and Mira. Yeah. That she loved that dog, and oh. that made her so happy. And what's your mom's name? Patty. 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 Oh, give me a hug, my yeah. man. Give me a hug. Oh, this yeah. one's for Patty. Oh, my. Yeah. Have a great day, everybody. Get out there. Here, everybody, at the count of three. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ah. I'm on the verge of tears. That was such a beautiful moment. Wow. What kind people. Incredible. So we're cruising into Columbia Falls and this guy pulls up in a rad, hot red Jeep. What's your name, brother? David Ravo, and it's thrilling to run into this guy. And I gotta tell you, I was at a bike shop in Whitefish and then I was following the trail on my GPS to where he could be. I've passed signs that say ole, ole, ole on the road. <laughs> and he said he's just ahead. <laughs> and now I'm in Columbia Falls. I know this place well, and I figure where will they be? And they're right at the top of town here at the train. And this is the uh, senator, center of the universe for so many over here. You're right at the entrance to Glacier. Right I on. just want to wish you so much luck going forward. I know there's fires down south. There's whatever down south. I hope you just have a clean ride all the way. I'm really proud of you. Thank you, I my really, friend. I really, really am. I'm proud of you, too. You're going to do a big bike race coming up here, huh? The last, the, be, uh, the last best ride is up here, 100 miles up here in Whitefish, where part of it is pushing it up to the top of the ski resort. So I'm just thinking it's just another day. Ryan's motivated the heck out of me. Uh, Right on, brother. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you very, coming very much. to say hi. Wow, it has just been quite the afternoon since leaving Whitefish. Met so many wonderful people. Ah, my heart is very happy right now. And it's not raining on me, so my body is happy too. <laughs> After a rough morning, the first down moment of the, the tour divide so far, I was just so uncomfortable and having all these dark thoughts, but not anymore. This afternoon has been the complete opposite. I've been lifted up by the love of all these wonderful people who I've met today who have come out to share stories with me about how my videos have motivated them. And, you know, that's the whole goal. That's why I do this. You know, when I started my channel in 2016, I just wanted to build up a community and create videos that would hopefully inspire people to get up off their couches and challenge themselves and to look people in the eye and meet them face to face and hear their stories about how my videos <laughs> have made a big impact. Ah. It makes it all worth it because for so long it was a grind. I didn't make any money. I was wondering what I was doing with my life. I should go get a real job, all that stuff. Not anymore. And now I know what I'm doing is, is working. 
and uh, it's an amazing feeling. Man, imagine playing soccer on those fields right there with that view. I'd go to school here. Hey there, look, it's my shadow. I haven't seen that in a while. Good job, buddy. Let's keep it going. This right here is the best cookie I've ever had. And this wonderful woman right here made it. Thank you so much. You're amazing, and thanks for being here to cheer us on. We got the GDMBR riders. Look at that. Did you see the sign? Antelope Wells, 2327. Wow, that makes it seem so far. I hope you enjoy and have safe, <laughs> wonderful travels. I definitely will. And thank you for being here. Absolutely. Cheers. It's freezing cold. You should go get your yurt. <laughs> you know, sometimes trail magic comes right when you need it. I was about to eat a gross candy bar for the thousandth time. And then they were they were there waiting for us, ringing the cowbell, and uh, with freshly baked cookies. All right, a little bit more to go. I'm about ready to be done. I've been riding since 5 in the morning. It's almost 8 p.m. Ah, <laughs> I rented a yurt up here, which is nice. I'll be warm because it just got pretty cold again. A lot of locals are saying there's like a winter storm coming tomorrow. Could be many, many inches of snow up high. Hopefully not. <laughs> I've landed at my spot for Yay. tonight. How are you doing? Welcome. Thanks for being here, by the way. Oh, thank you for coming. I'll let you step on in. Whoa, this is incredible. Whoa, are you serious? This is insane. Yeah, this is where we do dog sled tours in the winter, but we also have a shop in Big Fork. We rent kayaks and paddle boards and mountain bikes. Well, yeah, you're kind of starting to see we even got some fresh snow in the mountains. Yeah, yeah. look at that. June 17th. And Still getting some winter snow. Yeah, and what, look at this cutie. What's your name? George is a re uh, retired sled dog. Oh, Georgia. Oh, you just want to go right down to the ground, don't you? Yeah, Georgia. So you just mentioned that Mike Hall stayed here once. Well, he stayed, yes, when we first moved to Montana about 17 years ago. Uh, we had a property just about a mile that direction, so still very much on the route. And uh, we had some bicyclists only camping, but we also had a small Airbnb. And, uh, yeah, Mike Hall stayed there. Uh, the year he won the race, um, he also uh, uh, checked in in the wee hours of the morning, didn't shower, didn't, uh, uh, I don't think he even probably changed his clothes. I think he literally just laid in his bed for maybe three hours yeah. and got up and Popped hit, up hit and the road again. Well, that's crazy. Up. I'm going to stay a little bit longer than yes, that. Yes, right, right. <laughs> it's a good stop on the journey because where you head south of here gets pretty wild. So it's a nice, uh, yeah, you know, country, nice quick yeah. degree Extreme of the for sure. And uh, we've had a lot, a lot of them come through where they'll bike through at nighttime. And, uh, you know, obviously there hasn't been any reports of bears and bikers, but at the same time, you wouldn't catch me biking at night through the Swan Valley, is, uh, you know, knowing what I know about the bears out this way. Oh. Hi, guys. Oh. Hi there. Good to see you. Hi there. Hi there, buddy. Hi. Hi there. You're so cute. You're so cute. So you lead dog, uh, dog sled, sled trips. Tours, yes. Wow. Yes. In this area right here. Exactly. Actually, right out the gate right there in the wintertime, folks come out. We teach them how to mush a team of sled dogs because uh, here we let you actually drive the sled yourselves. And I cross-country ski the whole time. And so when we launch out of here, uh, we enter a network of trails, very similar in the terrain that... Um, you're going to be biking here uh, tomorrow. And if we knew you were coming, we'd have baked a cake. <laughs> yeah, but... Well, I mean, you know my favorite food, and it's right here. We've got some frijoles. Whoa, this looks so incredible. Thank you all for letting me be part of your family for the evening. My pleasure. 
Cheers. Cheers. Yay. Yay. Cheers. It's still light outside and it's 10 p.m. <laughs> Man, what a day. Have I been saying that every time? What a day. Every day is what a day. It's been incredible. Started off incredibly low. The cold just got me, which it always does. And then uh, I rallied. And I rallied with the help of wonderful people. And even ending up here tonight. I'm so glad that I met this wonderful family. Tomorrow, the winter storm warning, cold, 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 and then after that it warms up, and I cannot wait for warmer weather. <sighs> wow. This is everything I wanted it to be, really, truly. I've met incredible people. I've seen beautiful sights, and I've been able to push my body, and it uh, feels good. It feels really good, you know? And it's only day four. Maybe someday I'll be like, oh, it's day 21, 22, and it'll, I'll actually feel close to the end. But right now I still feel very far. And uh, I'm excited because I have so much more to experience along the way. And uh, I hope my saddle sores go away. Ouch. Mm. Buenas noches.